Be fearless, never hold back Accept challenges, make mistakes, venture far beyond your comfort zone. Ask questions others don't, solve the problems that others won't, and believe that you can make the impossible possible. And provoke, yeah, always provoke. Be the catalyst to others follow. The one that challenges the status quo. Never be afraid to claim your place in this world. basically picks up various things on the bat. So for example, bat angle. Someone like Hashim Amla with his big twirly bat that he has at the top there, a little bit like the Jim Fury golf swing, he will have a big bat angle. Someone like MS Doley when he, Doley, when he goes to play the helicopter shot, he is going to have a big bat angle. Maybe someone slightly lower to the ground. Who am I thinking? Uh, some of the England batsmen maybe start a little bit lower. Jason Roy, people like that, have a lower bat angle. The other thing it picks up is bat speed. The amount of times we have done master classes talking to Virat Kohli or um, A.B. de Villiers about bat speed, what does that actually mean? It's all well and good saying, well, you've got fast hands, but how do you measure that bat speed? So someone like me, a boring batsman, used to have very low bat speed. That's why the ball didn't go anywhere. But some of these guys, if you think Kohli, Kohli, when he plays the seamer, actually plays with firm wrists and doesn't create much bat speed. But when Kohli plays against the spinners, Kohli really generates a lot of wrist and bat speed through the ball. So what we've been able to do is actually quantify that. So maybe with Kohli against the seamers, his bat speed is good. Kohli against the spinners, his bat speed is absolutely phenomenal. But it's not just bat speed. You could have the most brilliant bat speed, but if it doesn't get there in the right time, then the ball doesn't go very well. So you also need the timing of the bat speed and this sensor picks up exactly when the timing is and hence how far the ball will go, how much impact it has on that cricket ball. So from this little bit of technology in the bat, we are picking up a whole different um, bits of information about how good batsmen are and how well they hit a cricket ball. Hi, I've been using this bad sense for more than a year now, and it is truly revolutionizing. The data empowers you, and it is the future of the cricket. The bad sense helps you gain focus it training. Very hugely across what sort of session you're trying to do, really. So if you're doing a one-to-one, -one, for example, one of the best bits of the app is the video capture. So it's linked to the fact that the, the sensor moves and it will capture only that bit of footage, whereas normally when we're capturing footage, we're capturing a whole session and you have to scroll through it. So what that does is enable the, the player to go back over their individual shots, have a look at the metrics that come off of the, uh, the sensor and also link it. I think data is pretty important at various times. I think the timing of the data is very important and the usefulness of the data. I think uh, in terms of uh, bat speed, bat angles, uh, in developing shots, but also helping the cricketer in, on their pathway. I think this is a critical time for cricketers at 16, 17, 18 years of age and going that next step. Uh, what tools we can use to help them is, 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 always, is always useful. This is Vera Krishnamurti, Leo in women's cricket team. Uh, today I'm here to talk about bat sense. Uh, being a cricketer, I'd love if I get real life uh, data about my batting. So it actually tells me about my bat angle and the power I'm putting into a shot. So it helps me uh, analyze and uh, get back into my practice. So it has been a vital uh, kit in my cricketing uh, equipment. The game has been advanced so much, so it's time for us to get smart. I am smart. Are you? At this point of time, while I am speaking, training is more a gut feel of a coach. Now we'll convert it in, into real.